Hi everyone, in the world of cloud computing, here are a few tech news highlights from this week. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard, cloud computing recruitment specialist placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. Thank you all for your support on social media and subscribing to our blogs and to our YouTube videos. We are currently growing our team and are looking to talk with tech recruiters that want to work in a flexible autonomous role. In the description box there is a link for more information. We are now on iTunes with all our podcasts and all our shows and news. Below there is also a link. And watch out for the new weekly cloud computing shows with David Lindicum, who is the world's number one cloud industry expert and internationally recognized thought leader. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share these videos with your friends and with your colleagues. This week, Twitter is moving a portion of its infrastructure to Google Cloud. Twitter have announced a new collaboration with Google that will see it move a portion of its infrastructure to Google's cloud platform. The move is another high profile win for Google in the cloud computing market, which follows its recent deal with Fitbit. Twitter says it's moving its cold data storage and its flexible compute Hadoop clusters, which is something it believes it needs to do in order to keep scaling the business. The move to Google Cloud comes at a time when there's heavy competition among the cloud service providers and Amazon is leading the way in terms of revenue. Grabbing a portion of Twitter's business is another big win for Google. Brian Stevens, a Google Cloud CTO said, there is strong alignment with Twitter's engineering strategy to meet the demands of its platform and the services Google Cloud offers at a global scale. This week sees Sky News partner with AWS to ID the royal wedding guests. As guests arrive at St George's Chapel in Windsor for the royal wedding between Prince Harry and Meghan Markle on May the 19th, Sky News will be using machine learning technology, AWS Elemental Media Services, provided by AWS Services, and two partners to name guests and provide additional background information. Keith Wims, Chief Marketing Officer for AWS Elemental, the video division from Amazon, providing the encoding and cloud services for the event, said that AWS has a long relationship with Sky, adding that capability will give Sky some insight into the capabilities of machine learning. This week, Australian FinTech wins the Barclays Global Open Innovation Challenge 2018. Tradeledger.io has finished ahead of nine other VC-backed companies across the world to be named the winner of the Barclays UK Ventures Open Innovation Challenge 2018 in London this week. Ben Davies, CEO of Barclays UK Ventures said, within Barclays UK Ventures, we're looking for companies we can partner with to develop and deliver transformational products and services. We chose Tradeledger.io as they have reimagined the lending process by improving the processes through automation and opening up lending opportunities to a larger client base, which fully aligns to our shared growth ambition. Martin McCann, CEO and founder of Tradeledger.io said, we are delighted that Barclays has chosen the Tradeledger.io business lending platform as the winner of this global challenge. It was an incredible opportunity to be able to present our tech and strategy for helping banks address the massive undersupply of business credit to such a large and diverse group of banks technology leaders. Congratulations to you guys. This week, eight more Spectre style floors have been found in Intel processors. Chip giant Intel faces further security patch headaches after researchers discovered that and reported eight new Spectre style hardware vulnerabilities in the company's processors, first reported by German IT site CT, which said it has been given full technical details on the vulnerabilities by researchers and verified them. The flaws have been confirmed by Intel. The new set of hardware flaws have been named Spectre New Generation and Intel rates four of the eight vulnerabilities found as high severity and the rest as medium. One of the new vulnerabilities is a much more serious threat than the original Spectre bug as it could be used to bypass virtual machine isolation from cloud host systems to steal sensitive data such as passwords and digital keys. The vulnerabilities are due to hardware design flaws and allow attackers to read data in memory. Thousands of older and new processors are affected by the vulnerabilities. Intel has promised to re-architect its processors to prevent a repeat spectre and meltdown flaws. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard. I hope you enjoyed watching this week's news. 
remember to like, subscribe, comment and share this video with your friends and with your colleagues. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter and also Instagram. And you can also check out the latest shows with David Limpicum and the podcast where there's a link in the description box below. Until next week, be good, be safe and keep our clouds secure.